Welcome to Curie Electronics. In the Qubyte series, today we are going to solve a simple network problem, that is a resistor network. Three resistors of 6 ohm each are connected as shown in the following figure. The equivalent resistance between X1 and X2 is. So we have three resistors. And we have to find what is the equivalent resistance between X1 and X2. So let's solve. We have three resistors. All are 6 ohm. Now there is a sh this is X1 and the rightmost one is the X2 and there are two short short points are there that is from X1 one point is connected to here one wire we can think it as a wire or any electrical connection similarly from here to here also we have one connection now Oh, what is there this x1 see this is x1 so this point also x1 and this point is x2 similarly so this also x2 Now what we no now the resistors are named as R1, R2, R3. This is R1, R2, and R3. Now what you have to do? You have to you have to see where all these resistors are connected. That is R1. Let's first let us take R1. R1 is connected between what and what? See, if we see here, R1 is connected between one end of R1 resistor is at X1 and the other end is at X2. So simply you have to draw it. That is, this is the R1 and this is X1 point and it is connected between X1 and X2. Next, what about R2? R2 is R2 also connected between, see R2, this is the R2 resistor, this is connected between X2 and X1. So same, R2 is connected between X1 and X2. What about the third resistor that is R3? R3 also it is same. It is connected between X1 and X2. That means all these three resistors are connected in parallel. The diagram is just to make us confuse. Nothing more. R3. Now, you know what are the values of these resistors. So, three resistors R1, R2, R3 equal to 6 ohm. So, what is R equivalent? That is the resistance between X1 and X2. So, that is equal to if there is, what is the equation for that? That is R upon N. R is the resistance value. What is the resistance value? That is 6 ohm. N is the number of same resistors, same value resistors connected in parallel. So, R upon 3. So, we will get 2 ohm. So, for this question, 2 ohm is the answer. Simple. You should know how to write the, uh, simplify the diagram. Similar questions. So, here, what is the answer for this question? It is 2 ohm is the, 2 ohm is the answer.
I hope you understood how to solve this improper problem. Thanks for watching.